Hello, this is Wayne Johnson. I'm at the Freeze Throw in Orlando, Florida, and I want to talk about um, conversions by gearing. So let me show you. This is the headrest, and if you look at the emblem here, it has his, um, his name, Gearing Incorporated, conversions by in Elkhart, Indiana. And this is a 78 headrest, Dodge. And um, they made different variations of it in the inside. This is called the Taurus model. And this one has a 400 big block. And at the Gehring um, plant, they had a special paint place where they did the paint. And this one is painted by Ron Johnson in 1978. You can see over here, there's a, um, you can see where he signed it. On the back door, you could see the headrest. And he came out with the idea um, headrest because the he heads, the hippies were called heads back in the 70s. And it was a place for them to rest. So that's how he came up with the name. I always wondered, you know, what did that mean? And it's kind of cool how you got the guy's face for the H and then the woman's face for the R, which is pretty neat. But yeah, he started his own company back in 73. He built it into a mass produce company. Um, you kind of put Elkhart on the map. It's kind of like the conversion capital of the, the world. There's so many companies that started there too. But like I said, this is the Taurus model and you had different, you had different variations. You had like the Aries, you had the Libra, and they had the Gemini one, and they had all the different, they used all the different um, zodiac signs for the different like interior models. And the Taurus, it has the bed in the back and then it comes up in the middle and you can have the two seats and the table. I got underneath, I got the table underneath. So, and then what's cool about this is you got the closet, you got the refrigerator, the sink, and it's very functional. On the headrest, you got the the shag um, on the roof, and then you got your light switch in the front, they go in the back, and then you got your switch box up there. They did that too. And then they also did the rope. Guy that's on our Facebook page, Rodino, him and um, all the people that work for Gearing, they put the rope and they assembled the interior and they got like 10 to $15 a van back in the mid 70s. Um, depending on what model it was. It's pretty neat, like all the um, production. They had like a room where all this interior was already pre-made and then they got a van and they did the conversion to it. Mm -hmm. now this, and they put this it in is there. A, uh, ice box, yeah, right? that's an ice box. That's an ice box. Uh -huh. Yeah, you open it up and you, you put like food dry here. ice in food it. Here. Yeah, you can put food, it like, <laughs> it stays in there. Perfect. I had my lunch in there this yeah, afternoon yeah you got your sink and it has the pump handle and it has like a bar yeah. yeah you got like the little whiskey shot glasses mm -hmm. which is pretty neat above. yep nice. you got your storage above and then they also have the air vent if you look in here oh yeah yeah it has the air vent and that's made out of michigan um, i got a magazine and it shows like they're made in michigan and they installed a lot of those were installed on the headrest models. And how about the, uh, the, the front end there? You got the wooden steering wheel there? Yeah, um, I think they put that on when they did the conversion. I think they added that. That's by um, Superior. Superior did the wheel. Mm -hmm. And I think they added that. They added the seats, like these seat covers. They put the padding on the engine cover. Yeah, nice. um, they did the door panels. They put speakers in it. They did this like the all, full conversion. This is all original. Huh? This is all, yeah, this is all what they did back in 78. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. Pretty much everything you see was done back in 78. Now is that air or is that air conditioning? Yeah, it came factory with mm -hmm. AC and it has a 400 big block in it, which is kind of neat. You don't really see many big block vans. So that's kind of cool, and it had AC. It pretty much had all the all the bells and whistles when it was new. 
like when Gehring did the vans, they were very high price and sent them to dealerships, the Dodge and the Chevy dealerships and all that, and they sold them. So it was pretty neat. Okay, so now this is the... This is the headrest. The headrest. Yeah. Okay. This is the headrest. And now you also have... I also have a streaker, which the I got streaker. that one to go along with this, because I had this one, I loved it so much. I came across this, I'm like, oh, I gotta have it, so I could take it to car shows, or van ends, like today, where I could have them both parked together, which is neat. And you have the best of both worlds. You get the headrest and the streaker. And this is a 1976 streaker. It came from Pennsylvania. It was stored in a, um, like a barn or a garage for 31 years. The original owners had it and they drove it from 76 to 89. And then one of the heads went bad and it wasn't running right. So then they just put it in a garage and it stayed there till 2020. And now it has um, new heads on it and now it's running again. And it's pretty much a time machine. Um, we'll go on the plate. Yep. Keep on streaking. <laughs> My buddy Vincent found that for me on eBay. He's like, oh, you got to get the slate for the streaker. I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> perfect. So, yeah, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Love yep. It. And Kim came out with the wild idea streaker. Um, it's a pretty wild top of the line van he did. Get the pipes on it. Yep. I added the um, pipes. The original exhaust on it was pretty much shot. So I'm like, I had to get the exhaust for it. And then this here, the mural, mm -hmm. they did that at the um, shop. And then this one's also signed in the back. Is it the same guy? That, uh... um, it's a different person. Mm -hmm. Actually, the signature's on the other side. Okay. When we get to the other side, I'll mm -hmm. show you the signature. But all the streakers, they had the porthole windows. Mm -hmm. Like on the headrest, you could get different designs. But pretty much all the streakers, they were kind of like all nautical themed. And they had the porthole with the, they usually have rope inside it where you see it. And a roof rack up there. Yep, they got the roof rack, which is neat. The other one has a roof rack too. Uh -huh. And then here goes on the back door, oh, there you go. the streaker. And then you also have the van conversions by Gehring Incorporated, mm -hmm. which is pretty neat. I think that's probably the, one of the coolest parts of the whole van. It's a streaker. And then on the back, in the back here, we also have the, um, the ashtray, which is pretty cool. The okay. ashtray is really, really, really neat. Mm -hmm. And just the detail. And then also you got the rope in the windows. And then you got the, the pirate ship picture. Yeah, I love the, uh, the, the porthole. Yep, the porthole. Mm -hmm. And it's neat, they got the rope in it. Like if you've seen in the headrest, mm -hmm. it had the rope along the um, top of the roof line. Where this one has... Uh, the rope inside the, and the bubble windows. And I believe one day someone was asking what that is right there. That's a lighter. That's a cigarette lighter. lighter. And then you got the ashtray <laughs> right next to it. Exactly. <laughs> That's great. So, yep. Uh -huh. And then it has the, um, actually stay back there. I'm going to put the lights on. Okay. I'll hit the light switch. And then you'll see the, we got the lights on back there, which is cool. Right. Yep. Which is very neat. Storage underneath for yep, old, storage underneath, yep, 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 yeah, okay. got all the storage under there, it's all hidden, which is cool, mm -hmm. yep, and then you got your, your mirror up there, which is neat, just the amount of detail that Kim and all his employees did on these vehicles is just amazing, uh, really nice, they really, yep, they went nice one job. step beyond, mm -hmm. and when you come over here, you'll see Watford and King, they did the airbrushing oh, okay. on this. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty neat. And like I said, this is very nautical themed. Like I just got a, like a treasure chest for it. And then I found the um, pirate ship. It was on Facebook Marketplace. I found that, so I'm like, oh, that'll be perfect for this fan. And then also I added a Ford step. I'm looking for the um, front front floor mats right now. And like I said, I got the treasure chest. And then I actually had my friend Alan Barch, he, um, oh, yeah. he airbrushed it for me. And you see it has the same oh, yeah. 
same airbrushing as the van does. And if you hey, want to zoom a, in, I got a, I got a model van of it, and I built it just like this. Van, you get something from the registration booth. So yep, I got that, and that's I pretty much detailed it. And I had to find the rims. It didn't. It came with um like these hubcaps on it. So I'm like, I can't have those hubcaps on it. So I had to find the rims like on the van. So I found a '66 Mustang model kit, and I I added them to it, which is kind of cool. Definitely got okay, so then you got storage air and a Yep, we got our closet. closet. We got box. another ice box. Yep, mm -hmm. just like the other one. And the sink. Yep, we got the sink in there. Well, we got pillows. We got, and we got, another we got all the goodies. And, and then this one has like the roof vent. Oh. They added that we back in '76. Mm -hmm. They had the lights and they did all the wood and the, the headliner. Um, it had the original steering wheel on it. They didn't do that. I, I added the steering wheel on it. Snap Yep. They all came with, both of them have soul seats, which is neat. Very, right. very convenient. Very comfortable. <laughs> I don't blame you. But, um, yeah, they're very, very cool vans. Yeah, lots of nice woodwork on the seat. Oh, yeah, the woodwork's amazing. Yep. And hey, then this, right there, bud. We'll get you in such good shape. Like I said, it's, it was stored for 31 years, so. Yeah. Everything's in really, really good shape. See, yeah, those lights are really, really cool. Mm -hmm. I like them. Yeah, yeah, really cool. <laughs> the headrests don't have them, so those, those are a little treat. The streaks are like, you know, they're both made by the same company, but they're both a little different. Okay, now this seat here, I imagine... That seat there was made by the original owner. The woman, that, the wife, she was an interior decorator, mm -hmm. and she made the seat, because um, there really wasn't any room for passengers, and they kind of used this van to take trips to Canada. Yeah. They were in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And then the guy got it from Vincent, his best friend's um, dad, um, his best friend Tyler, Tyler's dad, used to go off him on the trips and he used to sit in that seat yeah. when they'd go to Canada on the vacations and you during the summer. Oh to, to um, no, not really. Get like the back on. comes down, like this comes down, mm -hmm. where you could oh. like get back there. Oh, okay. Right. But it's pretty much a passenger seat. And then it's also good because it's storage too. Oh, yeah. Like you could lift it up and oh, you got your oil and tools and whatever down there. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool. Excellent. It's neat. So, yep. Very cool. Yep, it's a very, very yes, Good unique, job. cool Good time van. Capsule, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. Actually, there's four um, streakers known to exist. You got this one in Florida, there's one in Indiana, there's one in California, and then there's one in, uh, in England. Yeah, there's a long Dodge in England, and then over in um, California, there's a short Dodge, shorty Dodge, and then here you got the long Ford, and then in Indiana, you got a um, short Ford all right, all in you South Bend, Vader, Indiana, person, which is cool. So, yeah. There's four known streakers, you know, that I know of that's around in the world left, so they're pretty rare. Very cool, man. Yep. All right, love it. Thanks right. for showing them to us. All right, you're welcome. <laughs> Let's see, like that's Kim before he passed away. Um, he passed away in 2019. Here goes all the different... Um, Interiors? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the whole crew that worked at um, Gehring in the mid 70s, they did like a, um, a group photo, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna send that, yep. Cool okay. and that's a rare picture. All right, that's Kim. Kim yeah. yeah, that's in the mid 70s. Mm -hmm. That's him in his office in fall of 76. And here goes a picture of Kim with his buddies. Um, this might have been on his California trip, I'm not sure. But that's him here, the shortest one. That's him, um, I guess this with his buddies hanging off a van. <laughs> Good times. And that's a picture there of um, Kim. I found a magazine article where he's like inspecting all the vans, going through the assembly line. Like here goes the original owners of the um, Shrieker van. They owned it from 76 to 2020. They were the original owners, bought it new. They even took it on their honeymoon. There goes Marty Friend um, pinstriping it and getting it all ready to do all the wild graphics on it. All right, my good friend Joe Madonna, he does the Museum of Vanning in Hudson, Florida. He had original um, brochures from Gehring. I'm like, ooh, I'm like, I need those. He's like, nope, you can't have those, but I can make you a cup of coffee color copies of it so here you get to see some rare stuff 
So this is the front of the brochure. And then what's cool here is if you zoom in right here, this is um, the location where they had, where they did all the, the office. And then right here's the assembly line. And then right here's where they keep all the parts. And then all the paint is done over here. They do airbrushing and stuff. And they had like their own paint shop, which is pretty awesome. And if you look over here, you get to see all the stuff. But it's neat. That explains a lot. Especially if you've never been there. It's pretty neat. And let's see here. And you get the different, um, different setups for the headrest. And you get the Libra. And it's cool and... You can see all the funky patterns and all the different interiors. And so that's the Libra. And then we got the Taurus, which is which is like my Dodge we just looked at. And that's the Taurus. And then next one will be the Gemini, which is pretty much the window vans. And then you get all the curtains and all. That's the Gemini. And the next one will be the Leo. Where a lot, a lot of them were the Leos. These are the ones that had the bubbles, bubble windows on the side, like in funky places. Um, like here goes a shorty here, and they have like the weird placement of the bubble windows. Um, there's a black um, headrest. It's on the internet a lot. It's called Hotel California, and um, it has the bubble between the passenger door. And then that are two side doors. They're always like in a weird placement. They look kind of odd. And then you got the Virgo. And then you got the Aries. And uh, Aries, um, Kim Gehring's son, he has, um, his, tons, his son Ted has a blue one. I think he bought it back in September from a guy named Carl. He had a blue Aries for sale. Beautiful, beautiful van. And um, I heard it was for sale. I was interested, but then I heard Kim's son wanted it. So I'm like, nope, nope, he needs to get it. So I ended up getting a streaker instead. So I was happy. Um, Ted got the beautiful blue one, which you'll see a picture of it later. I'll show you. Yep, with Ted's van. And then here goes the streaker. Which is awesome. The interior's just amazing. And you can see the layout here. And that's kind of neat. And also, um, Gehring made um, pickup trucks. This one's called the Baron. Which were really popular back in the 70s. But I've never even seen one. But they did do them. And then here goes all the artwork they did. All the different kind of artwork. And then that one there is probably a streaker. All the different patterns and all. And then also, if you remember on the headrest, I got the red console. And then here goes the red console. Um, like in my Dodge. And then this is another brochure. This one's neat. A lot of cool color pictures. And... Here goes all the cool in interiors from the 70s. And then here goes another one. And then, as Joe pointed out, they, when I was first looking at it, they all have 70 free grills, which would probably make this a 70 free brochure. And here goes uh, um, different styles you could do. Like the headrest, you could get so many different ways. That was the number one seller. So, this is a cool picture. And actually, that's a famous place in Indiana, that hill. A lot of people know about it. It's been talked about on our Facebook page we got. And here goes another one of the interiors. And then... This is the floor plan, and 
You could even design or build something, you know, custom if you wanted to. They could do all kinds of custom work. So it's pretty neat. This is the last page. So yeah, I'm glad you got to see it all. They're very, very rare um, catalogs. So it's neat. So thanks everybody for watching. And I hope you learn a lot more about these vans.